All right, in our last video, we talked about um, gas cylinder safety, compressed gas cylinders, and how to handle them safely. Uh, we're going to pursue that a little bit farther in this video. Uh, right now, we're going to talk about handling and transporting cylinders. Uh, you should transport cylinders securely on a cart, which is designed for cylinder use. Uh, I understand that it can be difficult, especially on job sites, but really that's the ideal way to transport them. Uh, secure all cylinders during transport and turn all the cylinder valves off. Uh, attach the protective caps that go on them securely. Uh, prohibit cylinders being used as rollers or supports for other equipment. Uh, when you have to move a cylinder a short distance, if you hold it up by the collar and you tip it over on its edge, you can roll it along that edge. You can spin it and roll it and get it safely where you need to go without uh, dropping it or uh, without necessarily having to put it on a cart. So sometimes when you're moving it short distances, that's the way to do that. Uh, with regard to using compressed gas, uh, inspect all the cylinders, the valves, the regulators, the torches, uh, the hoses, and the other equipment prior to using them. Don't just pull it up and expect that everything's going to be okay. Have it a look over it and inspect it and make sure it's in good uh, shape. Then position the cylinder valve end up uh, when you're going to use it, and then uh, place the cylinders away from burning and cutting operations. In uh, the years that I have been involved uh, with ironwork, I have actually seen situations where people were using a cutting torch, cutting up sideways, and they were actually spraying the torch set, uh, which was set just a little bit off from them, with the hot metal and the flames and the sparks from what they were cutting. So don't do that. Make sure that it's out of the spray uh, range and area. And then also um, vent the cylinder uh, by slightly opening or cracking the valve prior to attaching a regulator. Uh, avoid being in front of that valve uh, when you do crack the valve. The reason you're doing that is to clear everything out and make sure there's no debris, there's nothing inside there. So you want to just Crack it enough to let a bit of the air out of the gas out so that you can clear uh, the fitting there where it goes. And then also use the proper regulator for the cylinder to reduce pressure. Uh, and then ensure that all the connectors are free from oil and grease. Those are two things you don't want anywhere around a compressed gas cylinder uh, opening. And then ensure that fuel gas and oxygen hoses are easily distinguishable. Uh, all the other lines are to be identifiable. Now, uh, when it comes to acetylene and, and oxygen, the threading is different. And uh, an acetylene hose is red and oxygen hose is green. So all things being equal, you should be able to identify this easily. But uh, keep that in mind uh, when you're looking at hoses. And then uh, disconnect those couplings with a rotary motion and a pull and open all your valves very, very slowly. Uh, when you're going to light a torch, don't light it with a butane lighter. Uh, if you smoke and you use butane lighters, don't light a torch with a butane lighter. Light it with a friction lighter. Uh, that's the safest way to do that. And then when you're all done using an oxyacetylene rig or the compressed gas like that, you want to make sure that all your valves are, are closed. Um, then also close your, uh, your needle valves finger tight to avoid damage to the valve or, and or any other valve stem. So vent all your hoses. So when you've gotten done shutting your bottles off, turn your torch hoses on and, and clear the line. And then uh, use a diffuser, uh, a, a diffuser regulated uh, to less than 30 PSI to blow away dust and dirt and debris. So don't use a high pressure hose, but so you can clean it off. Uh, so those are some things that are useful for you to know, I think, uh, with regard to uh, gas cylinder 
uh, usage and, and how to handle these things safely. So let's bear these things in mind uh, because we are using uh, compressed gases all the time and they can be very, very potentially dangerous if we don't handle them pro properly. Thanks very much.